What's going on? It's like, no. What's up, y'all? Today, I am building my PC. I'm happy. And it's going to take like four hours, but to you, hopefully 10 minutes. So let's get right in it without further ado. Here's the case. As I said, it is the Vibe Main Gear. At first, we thought uh, Neck Gear. Man, we were like, Neck Gear make cases? Main Gear. This is beautiful. <clears throat> Looks really cool. It comes with three fans, but I'm ordering more. I want to put at least two or three up here. As an, ex I just, as an exhaust to bring, to take out air. I'm gonna have the fans up front be intake and the fan back here obviously be outtake. Eventually in the future, if, if I get into overclocking, I will switch uh, these two fans out and put a radiator. Those, those are my plans. But first, ooh, it's tight. I gotta give them some points off because the plastic wasn't on here all, all the way, so they lose some points in that. Right, come over here. Right, look how big this is. Like all this is just intake air for the fan. Like I've never seen it so big and like I love the mesh. Airflow is key, my friends. Using that brain meat. I love how they put the instructions on the inside. inside so like you gotta break something for you. Like but I don't really need this because I pretty much know what I'm doing. Oh wow, it actually comes pre-installed with the um, the motherboard rivets. That's actually really nice. Ooh, wow. Look at the cable management it already comes with. Like this is beautiful. This is this fan. This is another fan header. It, it comes with a, a fan splitter, that's so cool. And this is where you plug in your RGB, I believe. And then this plugs into the motherboard. And all these cables are your USB and power button buttons all in the front. That's what all these cables are for. This is probably like the most annoying part. You plug in everything into um, their proper location and the motherboard. I'm gonna try to make that process simple. I'm gonna keep those together. All right, now since the case has been unboxed, now let's go move on to everything else. Start off this build. cables hang on to those I think always comes with a little um, zip ties but I already have a lot of those here are your little screws to screw your motherboard down they didn't really come with a lot of motherboard screws I got some dope looking stickers uh, stickers though I like that one yeah. a little pixelated one Extra nerve points if you put it on your car. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Whenever you get a motherboard or any PC parts for real, they always come in pretty much static or just a bike. I love the smell from the motherboard. Next, the process. This is the stock cooler AMD comes with. A beefy, beefy stock cooler. You literally won't need any other cooler for a little while. Intel need to get their cooler game up. That's beefy. And the piece of resistance, the cute little processor. 
First, you're going to remove these little brackets. This is where your cooler will go. Don't be scared to give us some oomph. You might need to give us some oomph. To be honest, when I picked it up, I didn't even know it was magnetic. <clears throat> and once you do that, they pop off easy. And you don't really need these pieces anymore, so you can... I'll just bag them up, just hold on to them. You never know. This is beautiful. This has two M.2 slots if you wanted to, and it has an eight. Each M.2 slot comes with its own IO shield. So I didn't, I didn't get any M.2s. So I'm probably gonna get people yelling at me. Just when I was making this, I just didn't want to spend that much money on storage because I'm only putting uh, operating software and some apps. So I can do good with just a $30. 130 gigabyte SSD. All right, but you just want to pop this out and this will be up. If you look on the edge, watch the edge. And it'll slide right out of it. Try not to touch the, well, don't touch the bottom at all, in honesty. Just always grab it by the sides. And when you go to install it, Make it sure. should just fall right in, don't push it. And right side up. And the way you can uh, make sure it's right side up, risen will be facing the same direction as the arrows. When you look around your motherboard, you will see an arrow on the right and left side. Just make sure it's in line with everything. And just put it right above. And just kind of look for it and see if it drop right in. And don't push it. Then to close it, you just bring this down. And boom, you're done. Never have to touch it again until you want to upgrade your processor. But that's later in the future. But like Intel really needs to do some more about their coolers. Their, their coolers are they're, they're not up to par. So, but the way you want to put this in here, there's this little hook, and there's a hook over here, and there they should already come installed. There's the hook bracket here and here. You just want to line them up. Just make sure it's nice and locked. This is unlocked. This is locked. Give it like a little, little tug. Make sure it's not moving. Then this gets plugged into the fan, fan header, which is right here. They have it like resting like that. Looks smith. Now for the RAM, I went with the Trident Z. Uh, it is two eight gigabyte sticks of DDR4 for a total of 16 gigabytes at 3,400 um, megahertz. They will do it at uh, America Center. Said so this can go up to like 4,400, yeah, 4, but me and sweet. him both know no one really needs that. 3,600 is literally the sweet spot. You will get max performance with little t to like no lag. And since they kind of messed up their pricing, your boy didn't even get it for the price it says. It got it for much cheaper, and they're really nice rams. They're, they're real nice. Ooh, feel that? They felt real nice. High quality. Mm. Like, this is metal. Is it RGB? Yeah, right? The RGB is right here, oh, the right little plastic part. That's cool. And these are only, like, $20 more than mine. I'm cool. I just want to keep so I can build one. I mean, um, large. Call him Big Papa. Big Papa. <laughs> Your RAM will go in the second and fourth slot. How do you know that that's not the first and the third? Well, if you look from the left to right, it's oh. one, two, three, four. It's always left to right. And DDR4, the way DDR4 works, it's slightly curved. So if you're not putting it in the right way, you will know. So don't force it. Again, it's like the processor, it will snap in. It will just slide in like butter. That's the first one. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not trained in basketball. So I'll, I usually miss the first shot. But boom, 
and then the click. Get a little tug, chunk. And number two. And then fact check myself so y'all know I'm not crazy. I can take it out and flip it around. And you, if you come right here, you can see there's a slot. There's a, and there, there's a little indent right there. I'm not touching it, so don't don't be in my comments. There's an indent. And if you look right here, there's a notch for said indent. When you do it backwards, yes, it may go through the first little one, the first little gate. Usually it don't, but in this case it did. Actually, no. That's as far as I can put it. It will not connect. So you you will know. See, it's hard to see, but the notch for the hole is here, and the notch for the ram is here. And it's an angle. It will not go in. You will break your um, motherboard if you try to force it. So I'll flip it around. It'll go right down. I made a slight click, and just boom, you're done. It's in there. Congratulations, you did the hardest part of building your PC. Now, literally from here, it's, it's easy. Cause all you do, well, depending on what other things you got, you'll put your M.2 in either here or here, but I didn't get an M.2, so I'm skipping that part. Oh, before we almost forgot, don't forget your RGB headers and uh. How you gonna already tell them that? But forget. Because your boy doing a million and one thing, baby. So I'm about to start breaking off the zip tie. <laughs> the less cables everywhere in your system, just the better it What's looks. What's that for? Uh, for RGB. Oh. This plugs into right here. Now I'm about to move on to actually installing your motherboard within your PC case. And at this point, you can just grab it like this. Have faith in your build that you can grab it like that. And you will see it's a little weight to it. This build will be called Big Bertha. Also, before you do this, go ahead and peel this. When you put this in here, try to be very careful. Try to line it up with the rivets. And make sure your IO shield is in the proper location. Oh, you hear it find the holes and snap in essentially. And this is where I reiterate the magnetic screwdriver because the screws are getting very small. Don't tie, you don't have to tie too tight, just finger tight. Then once you do all that, just get a little tug. If it's not moving, you're good. So from here, it's gonna set your case up. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect my case cables. Well, this is like the hub of the fan header, so I'm gonna connect this. These are the cables to set fans. I'm gonna get all that plugged in. And this is probably like the most, the second or most annoying part is just figuring out where all of the little power LED, HDD LEDs, and the powers. This gets plugged into the fan header. Now this is the most time consuming part. Make sure you have everything plugged in correctly. You have to have some courage too when you're plugging in things. 80 plus gold because this is a long, 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 long term build. So I'm not gonna get a real good power bank so you don't have to worry about changing it within the next three or so years. Let's see. 
comes with no cables. Mm -hmm. What did mine come with? Just a power. You're a semi -pedula. The snack. This power supply should be very quiet, so I should not hear this fan at all. And it's very smooth. So when you're laying it down, you have nothing to worry about. And then when you plug in your battery, make sure it's fanned down because it sucks in the cool air and it sucks in the cool air from the bottom. So make sure your fan is facing. I've been listening to Denzel Curry lately, yo, I'm sorry. Been vibing with the curry. Like, it's not fitting! Slide it on in there. <laughs> I'm trying to get like, oh, you're fine. my it's, camera. This, this is awkward. <laughs> You don't want to be like me and have to take it out once you put it in. Please make sure you take off the thing that allows you to screw it in. <laughs> and re-push down this tab. The other one, I can peel the cable back all the way that I don't need and hide it. Just like so, so you can go away. This cable can just plug in right here, like so. Finally, I know it wasn't a how-to or a walkthrough, but I will make more of those in the future. Hopefully, you understand just how to put in a CPU, heat sink, plug in a GPU, how to plug in your storage, all the basic stuff. But once again, further down the line, I have a really in-depth, long video on how to get your computer from just separate to one. But without further ado, hope you enjoyed this little reveal. It's been a long time coming. Thank you. Here we go. like that computer because I do. It's my child. That's not a child. Hit that like button. Hit your boy up on stream. I stream at the most horrible hours on the band. So if you're awake, let's get it. Kingpin Johnny. I'll put it somewhere. But thank you for watching this video. Thank you for waiting on me to get the PC and let's get into some PC games. Ah.